Welcome back, everyone. Hope you're having a good weekend, and I hope you're getting a lot done. I have been running some errands, did some things earlier today with the parents, but I could not ignore this new story that I, I was told about yesterday. It seems that Congress is working to criminalize something to a degree that I honestly believe is being handled right at this point to a degree, but not perfectly, and they're going way too far. Senator Tillis is trying to slide a felony streaming bill into the government funding bill. Now, I disagree with this on two points. One, it should not be a felony to include music in a video that you produce. But also, it should not be allowed for a senator to say, this bill is a must-pass. If we don't pass this, the government will shut down. Slide this completely unrelated thing in so I get my way. I mean, it, it was parodied in the Simpsons movie, where the Simpsons' hometown, Springfield, was just basically dying. They had been put in a bubble and all this. And there was a bill that would have saved them, and as a member of Congress wants to slide in a rider to fund the pornographic arts, destroying the bill. Now, this is done for a couple of reasons. One, I honestly believe there are times when people do this to kill a bill. They don't want something passed, so they slide something in they know will never pass, and it kills the bill. Two, they slide it in hoping it will pass without debate. Tillis is most likely, in this case, hoping... No one will object to a funding bill to stop a shutdown so he gets his way. But what will this mean if the DMCA becomes a felony if you include copyrighted music in a video? For those who watch Demolition Ranch, you know that Matt has a, another channel off the ranch. And there were a lot of times when he would record while he's driving. And he still does, but he turns his radio off. But he would record while he's driving, and you would hear a song come on, and he would sing along. There's one where him and Mare are in the car, and a song comes on, and you hear Matt begin to sing. He's had to completely avoid that, to the point where if they're walking around a shopping center, and he's recording, he has to stop at certain places because you can hear the radio playing inside a store, and he can't have that on his video. Justin Bieber has actually spoken out against this. His career started because people noticed him on YouTube covering other songs. There are a lot of people who do this. Cassie Joy from a few seasons back on The Voice. Amazing, talented singer. She does a lot of covers on her YouTube channel. Presumably she does some in the shows that she does. But this would destroy her ability to be noticed. There are people who do reaction videos to, say, a group doing a Gregorian chant version of Sound of Silence, or a vocal coach will react to David Draymond's performance in Disturbed's Sound of Silence. They're not going to be able to do this anymore. They might be able to put a link so you can go watch the official video on Disturbed's channel and say, okay, now come back at these time points after pausing so I can talk about, no one will watch that. There's even been a case, I remember watching a video where the guy talked about this, where a song he wrote that he holds the copyright to, but he didn't release it. Okay, He was not a singer. He was a musician, but not a singer. So he was part of a group that played it, and someone, it was a a group he's not officially a part of. So he put the video out on YouTube, gave him a copyright strike. He actually had to argue with them for a good while to prove he holds the copyright to that song. How many artists are there out there, songwriters, who can't get recognized, but they're selling their songs? There was a young lady on The Voice a few seasons ago, well known for writing, but had never gotten a break singing until she went on The Voice. This would be the same as YouTube saying, you can't record, you can't do a cover of that song. This is so-and-so's song. Well, no, it's not. It is jointly held 
I allowed them to record it, but I hold the copyright. Well, it doesn't matter. They recorded it, so it's theirs now. No, I legally own this song. I mean, where does it stop? I, I was talking to the friend of mine who told me about it. This break is actually really good because I don't exactly remember where I was when my phone started ringing, which plays Layla. And I use that as a ringtone for my mother so that I know that's her calling. The question is very poignant to a lot of people, not, not so much me. I don't use music in my videos. I have had a copyright strike because I did a reaction to the uh, ending of Heaven Bent, Hell Sent, a two-part deal with Doctor Who, when Peter Capaldi was the Doctor. And there was a character, a man, who had helped the Gallifreyans imprison the Doctor. He eventually gets out, and on and on and on, and he asks him what regeneration he's on, so he knows he's not going to kill the man. When he shoots him, the man regenerates into a woman. The woman stands up, says, first time I've ever been male, how do you stand the ego? Very plainly saying, there are differences between men and women. Even if this species that can, when they're dying, completely regenerate and change their body completely. I mean, this person was on, I believe, their 11th or 12th regeneration out of a total of 12 or 13. Had never been male before. So, says that changing is not common. I got a copyright strike on it. Had to eventually take the video down or trim out the exact video that I was talking about. I think that video is maybe 12 seconds long. There are other people talking about how they're getting copyright strikes where basically you'll hear a, a portion of a song. They're vlogging while walking through an airport. You'll hear a song in the background and YouTube will copyright strike them, take all of the monetization from that video and send it to the people who own that song. Literally, you're walking through the airport and you hear Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas. That video gets 5 million views and would have made you $100,000. Mariah Carey just got it because some radio station played her song in an airport while you're trying to talk to your camera and your subscribers. Now, I don't agree with people using copyrighted material to make money that is not theirs. Okay? But there's a difference, and there are levels of this. Okay, If you are a donut operator, or you are any number of people who will vlog as you get on and off of the airport aircraft and as you leave and enter and leave the airport, you are not using music in your vlog. You're in an area that is playing a public radio station or possibly satellite radio. Now, I've done videos where I'm in my car. I turn my radio off because I'm normally going to be discussing something specific and I'll use the time in my car, that 10 minutes to and from work, to record. But for someone to not do that, where they just kind of have the radio down a bit so you can hear them talk, to have to either stop recording in their car or turn the radio down. And if you've got kids with you, and Matt does have his kids ride along with him, and he videos while they're in the car with him, they don't get to listen to anything unless you put all, put all of them in headphones. It's a great example of something that started as a good idea. You know, something that should have been slap on the wrist first couple of times saying don't use other people's music without permission. Now it's become the first time you screw up and record while walking through an airport and the radio's playing, you become a felon. That is wrong. It should not be the way things are handled. And to me, it's just another example of why we need 535 pink slips. All of them. Even those I think are doing a good job. They need to be told, this is your last term. You're not coming back. And the new crew of 535 people, they need to be told, you get two terms. You know, the house, maybe three. And that's it. We have people who have sat in Congress for their entire adult life. I mean, think about 40, 50 years from now. 
Ocasio-Cortez, elected in her mid-twenties. She could easily ride out a 40-year career if she's in the right liberal district or moves around and retire extremely rich, having done nothing of any value. What has Joe Biden done? 47 years in the government. Passed a crime bill that put people in jail for reasons they shouldn't have gone to jail for. Praised segregationists. Gave a eulogy at a grand dragon from the KKK's funeral. Told people they should not own firearms, but to buy a shotgun and blast through their door if someone's trying to break in. That's his accomplishments. And that people don't recognize the dangers of this bothers me. Okay, we should not have a country where people can see that someone like Senator Tillis is saying, this bill, if it doesn't pass, the government shuts down. I'll still be getting my paycheck, but all these peons who work for the government won't get theirs if we don't pass this bill. Oh, slide this unrelated thing in that's going to make thousands, if not millions, of people in the country felons instantly. What about people who stream on Twitch? Legend of Zelda, Call of Duty, all of those, they're copyrighted by Nintendo or whoever created them. What about people who post tutorials for video games on YouTube? There are a lot of tutorials for Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on YouTube. Nintendo initially did fight these, but then ultimately realized they're getting free advertising. Now, I told my friend who showed me this story, none of the YouTube videos from the people who got the stuff early while they were allowed up, none of them changed my opinion one iota. I wanted that thing from the second I saw it coming out because I saw the official commercial for Breath of the Wild. As I've said in the past, Breath of the Wild is what my fevered nine-year-old brain was thinking and feeling when I was playing the top-down 1D Legend of Zelda in 1988. My imagination ran wild, that's what I was seeing. I knew I wanted it, but it came out in 2017. I really didn't have the money, so I waited. I bought it in late 2018, waited about another month and a half, two months, until I had 60 more dollars, bought Breath of the Wild. I've since bought other games, and I play them regularly. I enjoy them. And for a time, I was on Twitch until the software I was using, which was it's no longer Mac compatible, gave up on me. But this change to the DMCA would mean that people could go to prison as a felon for streaming on Twitch, posting a video of their gameplay on YouTube, because the music in these games is copyrighted. The games are copyrighted. It makes no sense to me. Anyway, let me know what you think. As always, remain civil. This honestly should be an issue that no one should have a party-line stance on as far as, well, the Democrats love this, so I don't, or the Republicans love this, so I don't. This should be one where Republican or Democrat, anyone supporting it should be castigated and, in my mind, kicked out of Congress. But let me know what you think. Just stay civil. We can discuss, dissent, and debate as civil adults, so please do so. Please make sure you uh, like the video if you enjoyed this content. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you know about all content like this off my schedule. And make sure to share the video so others can get involved in the conversation. Until next time, have a wonderful day.